Hi, today we are going to learn how to create a user account that is automatically blocked after a certain period of time. CM Restrict User Account allows you to automatically block or delete user accounts on your site after some period of time or restrict user accounts by the amount of logins. Let's set the expiration date individually for each user. It can be done for already existing user or to the new one. So let's create a new user. Navigate to Users – All Users and click Add New. Fill required information about the user – Username, Email and Password. Then scroll down to the section CM Restrict User Account Access. You can find there two options. We need the option Restrict User by Date. Choose Yes to enable date restriction. When the option is enabled, a few new options will appear. Account Activation Date – Set the time when the account will be activated. If the user tries to log in before that time, he will see the message that his account is not activated yet. Leave empty to disable activation date. Restrict date. Set the time when the account will be blocked. If the user tries to log in after that time, he will see the message that he doesn't have the access anymore. Let's set the expiration date 14 days after the account activation. You can change the message text for both of these features in plugin settings. Delete when expire. Enable this option if you want to delete the account when the access time expires. If enabled, one more option will appear. What should be done with content owned by this user? Here you can define what to do with the user's content. Delete all content, attribute all content to the specific user, or use default global setting. Default option can be defined in plugin settings. We will not enable deletion of the expired account now, let's just block expired account. When you finished setting up the restriction for the user, click the button Add new user to create the user. Now get back to the list of all users. You can see restriction dates for each user, if defined, in the column Restrict date. Let's see the result on the front end. First case, the user tries to log in when the account is not activated yet. Second case, the user tries to log in when the account is expired. There are also some general settings that can be applied for all new registered users. To configure them, navigate to CM Restrict User Account Texas Pro – Settings. There are a few sections with options. We will consider only the ones that are relevant to the date restriction feature. First section is Default Settings. The options that we need in this section are Default value for Delete User After Date checkbox. If enabled, the checkbox Delete when expire on the user profile editing page will be checked by default. Let's keep this option disabled now. Login error message. You can set the message which appears if the user tries to log in when his account is not activated yet. Login error message. You can set the message which appears if the user tries to log in when his account is expired. Choose what to do with the content of a deleted user. You can either delete all the content or reassign it to another user with the help of setting below. This option can be overridden individually for each user on the user profile editing page. Next section is User Registration Settings. This section defines expiration period for all new registered users. The options are Enable expire date time after registration. Enable this option to automatically expire accounts after registration. Time period. Input the amount of time, for instance 30. Time unit. Choose the type of time period if it should be hours or days, for instance 30 days. Last section is manually triggers. It has only one option. Expiration date set for users. Add an expiration date to all accounts without any expiration date set. Have a note that it will skip the users which already have expiration date and all admin users. You can see on the screen some examples of how the expiration works. The plugin has a few notifications that can be sent to the admin and user when the account is restricted or deleted. To configure them, navigate to the Notifications tab. There you can find two sections. Admin Notifications. In this section we need the following options. Admin Notification Addresses. Enter here the list of emails where the admin notifications should be sent. If there is more than one email, they should be separated by comma. Enable admin user reached date notification. Turn on this option if you want the admin to receive a notification when the user's account is restricted or deleted. 
Admin reached date notification subject and text. Edit the email subject and email body for the admin notification. User notifications. The options in this section are Enable user notification. Turn on this option if you want the user to receive a notification when his account is restricted or deleted. User notification subject and text. Edit the email subject and email body for the user notification. Email subject and email body for both notifications accept the following short codes for adding dynamic content. Action can be restricted or deleted. Username and user login. Configuration is completed. Now click the button Save at the bottom of the page. Now each new user that has registered on your site will be blocked in 30 days since the moment of account registration. The user and the admin will be notified when the account gets expired. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to create a user account that is automatically blocked after a certain period of time. Thanks for watching the video.